Straight to the UK. Straight to the UK. We're going yes. to the Telegraph and uh, Labour from that, that, that really great scoop that Labour has secretly suspended 50 members for <laughs> anti-Semitic and racist comments over the last two months. We only heard about three in the space of seven hours yesterday that were public. But over the last two months, 50 have been suspended over different comments that they have said on social media, Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that. No, it's, it, it, and it's, it, you and I had this discussion um, uh, yesterday when the first two, I think the first one was suspended and then in the afternoon it was two and then it was three. And maybe that is the time to go straight <laughs> to London where we're joined by I-24 News um, uh, European correspondent Jonathan Sacerdotti. Jonathan, tumultuous morning here, the story that will not go away. 50 members suspended? Good morning. Yes, quite a shocker. And that comes after yesterday, three councillors were suspended within five hours. So people were thinking, it can't get any worse than this, but then it did. <laughs> yeah. And what do we know about this story in, the, in that respect? It got pretty ugly yesterday when tweets came about, but the, the three that were suspended yesterday, what was that about? So yesterday, Burnley Labour councillor Shah Hussein had been suspended for tweeting to the Israeli footballer Yossi Benayoun that you and your country doing the same thing that Hitler did to your race in World War II. Councillor Hussein is certainly a charmer and expressed disappointment that the footballer was also not kicked in the head hard enough. Um, a Labour spokesman said that this uh, was really, uh, he had been suspended, but then there was debate whether or not he had. All of this, of course, is a fresh headache for Labour, just as they're trying to clear up this whole anti-Semitism controversy that's been going on since the suspension of Member of Parliament Naz Shah, who also posted uh, a Hitler illusion and mentioned that Israel should be transported in its entirety to America. Right. And uh, um, Ami Kaufman yeah, here with John, me in studio. Jonathan, I want to ask you something really... A, a very blunt question. After this fiasco, and it looks like the bad results that are expected in the, the upcoming elections, could this be the end for Jeremy Corbyn? There's a lot of discussion over whether this is the end for Jeremy Corbyn. Rumours even that John McDonnell, his close ally, his shadow chancellor, might be poised to take his place. But then McDonnell saying that this is a disgusting media attempt to divide the party. So it's uh, lots of whispering going on around Westminster. Certainly there are those within his party who've always wanted Corbyn gone since he won that election to be their leader. And they will take any opportunity perhaps to harm his prospects as the leader. But this is destroying the party from within, say, the Corbynistas. And that means that this is something that just won't go away, as anti-Semitism has now been on the front pages of the UK newspapers for over a week. Exactly. No, very valid point. And leading into those elections um, in London on Thursday, Jonathan Satcher, I want to thank you for joining us this morning.